This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Oil prices were stable on Tuesday as the market balanced risk sentiment with supply concerns and the prospect of higher demand as China relaxes its COVID curbs. Brent crude futures were down 44 cents, or 0.3%, at $119.07 barrel at 12.09 GMT. U.S. West Texas Intermediate, WTI, crude futures were down 35 cents, or 0.3%, at $118.15 a barrel, having risen by over $1 per barrel earlier in the session. Risk sentiment is responsible for the drop, with European equity markets negative, said UBS analyst Giovanni Stornovo. Asian refining margins for gasol, which jumped to their strongest levels on record on Monday, may start cooling off as early as next month as refiners ramp up output, while the upcoming monsoon season could dampen demand traders and analysts said. Refining margins for the benchmark 10 ppm gasol in Singapore, which have soared nearly 63% in the last two weeks, hit $55.77 a barrel over Dubai crude on Monday, an all-time high according to Refinitiv data that goes back to 2014. Gasol is currently the top money spinner for Asian refineries. The remarkable rise in gasol profits is encouraging refiners from South Korea to India to prioritize output of the industrial fuel and step up exports to Asia and also Europe, which is seeking to replace Russian supplies ahead of an European Union embargo to phase out Russian oil products in eight months, the sources said. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Russia is ramping up oil exports from its major eastern port of Cosmino by about a fifth aiming to meet surging demand from Asian buyers and offset the impact of European Union sanctions, three sources familiar with the matter told Reuters. Moscow has said it hopes to reroute energy exports from the West to Asia, but doing so via long tanker voyages from European seaports is expensive and complicated by Western sanctions over the conflict in Ukraine, such as on shipping. Russia's pipeline monopoly Transneft has already increased the amount of crude pumped to Cosmino on its main Asian oil route, the East Siberia Pacific Ocean, ESPO pipeline, by 70,000 barrels per day, BPD, by using chemical additives to speed up oil flows, the sources said, speaking on condition of anonymity. China has issued 4.5 million tons of quotas for refined fuel exports, sources told Reuters on Tuesday, a top-up to the first issue for 2022 to ease high domestic inventories as demand was dented by COVID-19 lockdowns. The new issue will bring the total of refined fuel export quotas this year to 17.5 million tons, still significantly lower than the 29.5 million tons allotted under the first issue of 2021. Four firms, including China National Petroleum Corp., China Petroleum and Chemical Corp., Sinopec, China National Offshore Oil Corp. and Sinochem Holdings, have been granted the new quotas, the sources said. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Copper prices slipped on Tuesday as doubts over demand in top consumer China were reinforced by a stronger dollar, though there was some support from a hefty drop in inventories at warehouses approved by the London Metal Exchange, LME. Benchmark copper on the LME traded down 1.4% at $9,610 a tonne in official rings, having have touched a five-week high of $9,916.19 in the previous session on optimism that the lifting of COVID-19 lockdowns in China would boost demand. Although there is going to be some upside cheer in a host of commodity markets, the jury is out as to how the Chinese authorities are going to handle COVID going forward said Edward Meir, analyst at ED and F Man Capital Markets. Gold prices rose on Tuesday on investor concern over the economic fallout of aggressive policy tightening by major central banks, although gains were limited as elevated U.S. Treasury yields supported the dollar. Spot gold rose 0.2% to $1,844.40 per ounce by 13.09 GMT bouncing off a one-week trough of $1,836.10 touched earlier in the session. U.S. gold futures were up 0.2% at $1,847.20.
We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. The European Commission raised slightly its monthly forecast of usable production of common wheat, or soft wheat, in the European Union in 2022-23, to 130.4 million tonnes from 130.1 million previously, data posted on its website showed. The latest projection was also slightly above production of 130.1 million tonnes in the current 2021-22 season. The Commission cut its forecast for EU usable production of barley in 2022-23 to 52.3 million tonnes from 53.5 million a month earlier and lowered its projection for the EU's 2022-23 maize crop to 72.5 million tonnes from 73.4 million. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Tradeflow News which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.